The top 25 movies of 2022 in terms of U.S. domestic box office in millions of dollars in ticket sale, in theater ticket sale, is shown here in this bar chart. As you can see, the first one and the second ones in ranking are by far higher than the other ones, and these are Top Gun, Maverick, and then Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Uh, both of them closed close to $700 million in ticket sale. And then suddenly, with a sizable gap, we have the third movie, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, at $454 million roughly. And then after the eighth movie, which is the Thor, Love of Thunder, Love and Thunder, at $343 million, we have another, or it's the second sizable gap. And then we get to ninth movie in ranking, which is the Sonic the Hedgehog number two, at $191 million in ticket sales. And then after that, we have a more of a continuous drop down to the 25th movie, which is the Everything Everywhere All at Once at $77 million roughly. So you can see in this nicely visualized um, uh, bar chart, there is sort of an exponential uh, trend from the 25th movie in terms of the ticket sale uh, up to the first movie uh, that is... Uh, Top Gun Maverick at $700 million. So there is a factor of 10x delta between these, and we can see there are two drops, sizable drops in this bar chart. Okay, so how how is it how how is it generated like this? So let me go back to original data. So here is the original data. So we have the movie name, uh, control. So I'm gonna do control shift down and then just uh, going down to the by keeping shift and down to the 25th movie, which is everything everywhere all at once. And then I'm gonna select uh, the domestic box office, a million dollar, and I'm gonna just go down to the same 25th movie. And then uh, the best thing to do, quickest way, is in click insert on the tab, and then in the ribbon, click the recommended chart. And the first thing that pops up, because it's system recognized, we're talking about a movie as a categorical variable with names and then domestic box office in terms of a quantitative variable, in terms of uh, dollars, millions of dollars of ticket sale. So the clustered bar chart shows up, and then you have different versions of that. You have this version, if you like, and you have this version. So here in this version, we will have name of movies on the horizontal axis. Maybe it's harder to see them. Maybe this uh, clustered bar chart with the names as uh, on the vertical axis, so names horizontally written is better option. So let's select that. And then when this thing shows up, just scale it up to the view that you like, and then select different style. So you can see that on top in the ribbon, I can select the darkest style, the one that I showed you. And then you can also edit the title the way that you like it. And then it occupies, uh, it maximizes the uh, view. And then you can see, you can do other things as well. You can, for example, select a quick layout. And in quick layout, you have different things showing up, like, for example, this view in which it will write down the, say, uh, millions of dollars uh, in terms of ticket sale right above or right aligned with the bar of the bar chart, which is a very nice view. And then you can also do other things if you like. You can add uh, different uh, uh, indicators on your uh, chart if you like. So that's trying different layouts. I like layout number two very much, so because it, it is it is showing off a lot of, a lot of things, and then um, I can just get rid of this uh, unnecessary rep repetitive legend. Uh, so this is this is one uh, beautiful uh, view of uh, the data. Another nice view is if you go back to insert and then try recommended chart. This time, try all charts, and then in all chart, maybe you try, for example, area if you like. You will see this view. Maybe you try pie chart like this, and then you can try the two-dimensional pie chart like this, as you have seen before in other uh, data sets. And uh, then you can also go and try, let's say, um, one of the nice one actually is the tree map. So if I select tree map, for example, let's try it. So I'm going to extend and expand this one because... Um, this is a famous uh, visualization. And then, for example, you can select this view. You can select this view if you like. And then you can go to Quick Layout again and select and play with different options. So you can have this view. And then uh, you can go to Change Coloring and maybe use the monocolor. So uh, if it helps with better visualization. So there are different options available, like this option and like this option, like this option with title. And if you want to, again, if you're interested in colorizing it, you can always do that. Go back to color mode if that is something you're more interested in. 
um, in the quick layout you can again play with different things and uh, that's also uh, options you have at hand and you can go to as usual you can go to chart elements and then do the legend if you want you can go to um, style you can go to coloring in the style you can select different styles like this one as I said before um, and then um, this is the as I so this is the uh, one of the ways and then another way to recommend the chart if I go back to all chart would be sunburst like this view so if I insert sunburst in this circular view, the area of segment is corresponding to the ticket sale. As you can see, the largest area, largest segment are for Top Gun Maverick and also the avatar number two. The nice thing about this one, if I go to say, I think there is a view. So you see, again, you can play with different things and you end up with different views. Uh, for example, this view is nice. And then you can go to coloring and maybe you can go to monocolor like this one. So. And then you can, uh, let's say, select all the text and you can just adjust the, adjust the text font if you want. If you want larger text, you can do that. But the problem with that is you will end up with some of the names not being able to written down because there is not much of a available area. You can bold it and uh, you can go also back to, say, uh, your chart view. So I'm going to back to... Um, say this view and uh, you can play with the styles different styles available and then you can do um, say some of the styles allow you to even show the data uh, on your on your uh, let's say sunburst now let's delete this one and try one other ones as well one other view which is back to recommended chart so okay so I need to select the data set, of course. So movie, control shift, and then back to, down to say everything, uh, everywhere at once. And then domestic, okay. But down to same 25th movie. Now go to recommended chart, go to all charts, and then we tried some burst. You can do histogram, which is similar to what I showed you. You can do box and whisker, if that is helpful. You can do waterfall. You can do funnel, you can do combo. And funnel is also one thing that might be interesting in some application, not necessarily here. In the funneling, you can view the movies like this. So now you're showing that exponential view as a two-sided funnel going down. And you can play with different styles as well if you're interested, if that is helpful. I hope that this video is not only informative in terms of showing you an interesting stat, but also at the same time showing how you create a simply and fast and in a quick fashion create or construct different views of uh, data using uh, the tools available in Excel.